Richard Sells. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Brian Stutz. And now the officials are in place and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring and they are ready. So from Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Atlanta, Georgia, to the millions watching around the world, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and white and weighing in officially at 191 pounds. He's a two-time Big Ten champion in wrestling, two-time NCAA champion in wrestling, a 2008 wrestling U.S. Olympian, and as a world-famous mixed martial artist, has a record of 19 victories with only two defeats. From Heartland, Wisconsin, USA, Funky, Ben Askew! And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing yellow and black, and officially weighing in at 191 and one half pounds. His professional record, two fights, two victories, two wins by knockout from the Buckeye State of Ohio, but now living, training, and fighting out of Miami, Florida, USA, the undefeated digital superstar, Jake, the problem child, Paul. You've had your instructions, obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. These are good, these are a little high, but they're all right. Let's have a clean one, touch it up, let's go. Jake Paul looking to remain undefeated. Funky Ben Askren making his pro boxing debut. Ray Forrest, Snoop Dogg, Mario Lopez, Al Bernstein, wow. Pete Davidson, Crime yes. Faces. Wow. Gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts. Here we go. Oh, I'm about to Let's come. Go. Oh, I'm it's gonna about come to go down. Waste no time and get to it and do it. Here we go. Ben ain't got Askren. time to fill out nothing. You ain't filling out no Woo! applications. Ain't nobody hired, so we ain't filling out no applications. Ben this got is that, uh, fill out. Ben got that Vince Vaughn body. <laughs> oh, he has the body. Oh, he has nice the body overhead like right. Ben Ben Nice overhead right. Ben Asker's built like a bag of milk, but yeah. he's got that country strength. Well, Fred, Freddie Roach Fred. did say that Ben Askren does have deceptive power. The Hall of Fame trainer himself, he did say that Ben Askren, if he fights the right fight, can defeat Jake Paul. Freddie Roach was complimentary of his work ethic and the fact that he did everything he asked. And you know what, already, Ben, ben Askren's on the inside. Ben. Hey. He's trying to wrestle already. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get inside. Uh, that's, what, you know, that's what he needs to do to be victorious. He needs to fight him like a wrestler. Get inside, muscle him out, tire him down. And control the fight. And control the fight. I hope they start kissing. <laughs> yeah. You think they'll start kissing? That's what I'm oh, here for. Oh, oh, okay. What well, Jake Paul did predict before two rounds are done, he's going to put away Ben Askren. He ain't been oh. out there fighting like a 1940s fighter with that old ass style. Yeah. <laughs> he got to change that style. Look, that's that, uh, oh, okay. that, that uh, Come on, old man. ass. Hey. Jake right. Paul well, being a lot back, more disciplined back. than I thought. Yeah, that's yeah, the style Jake. the fighters used to use in the 1930s. He's about to change that shit up. Oh, Jake, there's a oh, left hook go. on the top of the head by Paul. Oh, Bang. Shit, shot dude. to the body, body shot to them ribs. Bang, right to the motherfucking head. He's a fucking bad boy, dude. He is. Jake, get out. I'm trying Jake's to tell you. Jake's a bad boy. You think I'm going to put $2 million on a motherfucking goofball? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, Jake Paul sparred with former world champion Jean Pascal. And get also my money, Jake. Get my motherfucking money, Jake. Get my Brian Stutz said you were stumbling, son. 
You saw that Ben Askren took the mandatory eight count. That's then in the hands of referee Brian Stutz. He felt wow. that Ben Askren wow. was not able to continue. Askren pleaded his case, but to no avail. And that's the same set match, hey, Jake man, He was singing a, a, a one of them bedtime stories of rock a bye, baby, yeah, on the treetop. Jake hit his motherfucking ass two million on top. Mario, and quick stop it, yes or no? It could be debated that was a quick stop it. I think he should have been given the benefit of the doubt, to be honest with you. Jake